journey. Yeah. Ready? I'd like to call the Monday, February 5th, 2024, City Council Work Session meeting to order at 6.30. Today we are speaking about our community video, the CGI showing at NJ Johnson. Right away. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor Council. So we are bringing back the community video that we've been working with CGI Digital on for a little bit now. Um, still has the same structure. All It's broken up into video chapters, but we added the comments from your last round of revisions. So number one, the video will have closed captions once it's published on the website. Right now in the editing stage, they don't do them. They wait until everything is finalized, but when the video is up in public, it will have closed captions. Um, similarly, we will have at the beginning of Mayor Bacchus's intro, it'll say Bienvenido a Scampus. So to be a little more linguistically inclusive, we added that. And then finally, we improved the ask of each of the videos. So, you know, each of them are kind of about a certain thing and they're trying to promote, um, especially for people that are out of town or considering starting a business to, you know, it's got some ask at the end. So we added that to be a little bit more clear. And with that, we'll get going with the welcome video. Quick. Music. Uh, so go. <laughs> and then if you could start it on the welcome video too. And quietly. You exit full screen. And then hit the back on the upper left. And start at welcome. Five, the five. Welcome to Scott Oregon. There's a friendly small town atmosphere and a wide variety of attractions and amenities. Scappoose has something for everyone. Located 25 miles out of Prince Orchard, Scappoose offers a unique balance of rural and urban amenities. Access to exceptional education, cultural, entertainment, and recreational opportunities. We exploit Chapman Landing to see the views of the Pagoda Channel. Book a walk or bike along the Crown Z Trail to travel more than 40 miles between Scappoose and Vernonia. Scappoose features the second largest Pagoda in the world. Foot tall East Campbell. The city is also home to the Scapoose Airport. Thirty most travel down the Tower Airport in Oregon, which sees over 60,000 operations in Europe. Whether you are raising a family, starting a business, or to be part of a community that looks out for one another, Scapoose is ready for you. So there we tried to strengthen the ask a little bit. I can just share my screen. Yeah. Okay. And then this is quality of life. Where you say Hilton honors Hilton for the stay. Of course, I miss you, Bob. Offering opportunities for sale, targets, priorities, and planning. No matter what you're looking for, 
devils as heavy. Economic development. History. I can't hear it. I, I'm working on it. And then this last one, community organizations will have links to get involved in all the community organizations. Um, but at the end of the video, they uh, plug our website as well. So we're in a spot now where we have done seven revisions to this video and uh, worked with the CGI team to get the comments of you all and EDC and staff to a place where uh, staff feels pretty good about the video and where it is now. So not saying that if you have any comments, you shouldn't share those, but we'd be looking at the last iteration next. You, you know, like if you have comments, we'd only be looking at one more round of edits right now. Thanks, NJ. I, I personally am fine with it. Um, there's obviously things that are always going to change. Businesses have gone out. Gas is not 411, luckily, right now. But um, overall, I think um, for who it's attended to the target market, I think it, it, it was good. Appreciate it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Jacob. Uh, thank you, NJ, hmm. for all of your work on this. I appreciate you taking the feedback and incorporating it. Um, the history, check, love it video, the community involvement, check, love it. Um, to the mayor's point, of course, businesses will come in and out. I'm just going to ask um, if there's any way to switch out Bamford Bakery and maybe plug Brown Sugar. Brown uh, brown sorry, butter. Brown Butter Bakery. That would be lovely if that's possible. 
Um, and if we could just move away from, if we can modify uh, from Adventure Fest and just say Scapoos Festival, if we could make that, that would be great. That's my input. Otherwise, thank you. I think the videos there are fine because you don't know. We may come back to music. We may come back to that type of festival. It's just, yeah. it won't probably have the name Adventure Fest, but. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, Councillor Holmes. Yeah, um, I just had one question about that final link on the events. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of, I guess the spirit of that is community engagement and involvement is keep keep it local where we want to direct them or are we going to have something on our website that has Scapoo specific? So we have on our calendar page, like all of our meetings and, you know, in there occasionally are things like our summer festival or the annual town meeting, things that are more like community focus than a parks and rec meeting. But um, keep it local has a lot of social events that are happening throughout the county and it's really designed to try and keep local dollars local. Um, and so it, I, I kind of feel it's going to be a lot more of a comprehensive list than anything the city has. I think on our website, we'll have links to places like that as well. And if yes. they come to our website, we'll, they'll be able to find volunteer opportunities and those videos. Um, we can't go in and change them once they're up there. We can't just go and edit and change things. So I think that was good. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Council President Jason. Um, so NJ, just knowing that this was a free service, a free video that was created for us, um, thank you for communicating with them. I don't know what that was like on your end to keep coming back with revisions. Um, what is the timeline? Remind me of when they circle back with us and say, hey, um, we're ready to do another free video for you. When does that get updated? Like every three, five years? I don't remember. Oh, I see what you mean. Um, yeah, it, it could be three to five years would probably be appropriate. I'm just remembering since our last one. So it was pre. Undoubtedly. Yeah. It's going to yeah. age, age out. Thank and then they're in charge of, of they'll they'll go after some of our businesses here to advertise onto the on their web page and, and and that's already been completed they've already made those phone calls do you see like what it looks like if you go to it right now or we just have links to videos is there a is there a website then that you could see all those and we'll see our sponsors all around it yet yeah so that's that's what it will look like when it's published it'll also the community organizations one will also have like a lot of links to get involved in different groups. Okay. And then, like I mentioned, once published, the closed captions will be on there too. But no link to a, a second language other than the introduction. You can't click one and it will all be videos in. I don't know if they can do that, but I can I can ask. Because translation services are tricky. You want to want to not screw up translation. <laughs> um, and so like having an auto generated thing would be that's tricky. pretty risky. Mr. Mayor, yeah. the Yahoo school district platform that they use for like their weekly newsletters for each of the schools, somehow that platform now granted that's all in written form. Yeah, you can translate into ton of different languages so i don't know yeah how that works with audio but we do that on our website too okay yeah so as people scroll through and are reading they could read it in there it's at the bottom for language yeah. okay thanks nj mm -hmm. anything mr sukow were you good with that okay all right appreciate it thank, thank you. you thank you uh our work session is now adjourned